This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. We have Susan Faulkner Evans on bow, and we're in our warm-up trot here. Good! We're working on getting him more on the bit, on the aids, in front of the aids. We're still getting past the winter. Susan has been riding him a couple weeks now. Good, good! That's right. Now, again, feel the range. Do they feel like they're alive or that he's disconnecting from them? Um, they just feel kind of um, stale right there, I guess. Okay, she says they're feeling stale. All right, activate them until you feel the energy, the life energy come up on the reins. I'm trying to find a way to describe it. Yeah. Do you feel it? Now, he's going to disconnect from it a lot at first, but you're going to keep asking him to put the life back in the, in the rain. That's right. Good. Start doing other things with him, like curves and serpentines, and just feel where his rein goes stale. When it goes stale, that's when you've got to get him more active from behind and praise him. So on the bit really means that the horse is more like alive in the rein. So you feel like he'll drop you right there. Do you feel it? Again, he's not being bad. He doesn't know how to stay on the bit like you're asking him now. So you encourage him to step up, praise him when he gives you a little bit, because this is new for him. You know, we've had him on contact before, but it's not the same thing as stretching into the bit like this. Good. Yes, you feel he's already carrying you in a different balance? Good. Keep the reins alive. Remember, every time you do a corner to get him more active. More active. Bo's always had a tendency to be a little behind the aids, legs. Good, good. Yep, he's over tracking. Could step up a little bit more, but we're happy because he's feeling the rain now. Yep, now you'll notice where he drops the contact. That's where he's really dropping his back end. Bo's competing in second level, so we need a different kind of a connection for that. Good, good. Start adding curves and feel where he drops the rein, the connection. Sometimes he'll get really heavy on them. If he holds longer than three seconds, you get lighter with the rein and really motivate his back end. That's it. And when he gives and he goes where you want him to be, you get a little bit lighter. It might only be a quarter inch sometimes. And you just play the game. You want him to have him receiving your contact now. Good. Yep. Keep him active in your reins. Oh, yes. Do you feel he's picking you up a little different? Good, Susan. Keep him active in the rein. He's going to lose it right here going to the right. So that's where you've got to get more energy from behind. Good. Yes, that's it. Think of a medium or a working trot, whatever you need to do. Make him fly a little bit. There, right there. Work him from that trot. Good. Now keep that trot, he's going to lose it right there. That's where he drops behind your connection. That's it. Remember leg, then you can add a little spur. That's it, praise him when he goes forward. Ask him to receive your energy through the reins. Feel that it's active. He's going to, because he goes into remote control. You feel it? Yep. That's where you want to say, okay, remote's cool, but I want you to stay connected. So now feel that the reins are alive every step. Good. Keep the reins alive. This is the trot you want. Good. Good. And he's going to have a hard time holding it at first. Make sure he's thick in the base of his neck. That's right. So you'll have to pick up your rein connection just a little bit more. Slow down the front end until he lifts his shoulder and see if you can get that same big trot with his shoulders up more. Good, keep him, at, keep him alive on the reins because this is where he's going to start testing you a little bit because he doesn't really know what you're asking. Hey, that's pretty nice. How does that feel? Good, good. Keep him more active. As soon as he starts leaning on a rein, instead of staying alive on it, you just get him more active behind and praise him. Good, good. That's it. Okay, start some circles at the end of your serpentines, like 10 meter circles, and see if you can keep the activity. Remember when you bring his shoulder in, you've got to get him more active behind. More activity. Praise him. Get him to stretch into that rain. That's it. Get him to stretch into the rain. He's got to be alive in the reins. Keep him alive. There, there. Feel it? Good. It changed his trot, didn't it? And then he'll disconnect a little bit. 
You can go straight, start another curve, see if you can get him alive on the reins with like a 10 meter circle. That's right, get him alive. He needs more activity. He's gonna say he can't do it. This is his hard side. Good, praise him. If he gives you a step, give him a lot of praise. Good, get him alive in the reins. Good, 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 praise him. He says, oh mom, this is so hard. Good, then let him go straight for a minute. Come back one more time, add in your 10 meter circles, getting him to stretch into a live rein. She's doing that from her leg. That's right, get him alive, get him alive. More alive. Needs to pick his shoulders up. Outside rein is too long. That's it, get him to pick up his shoulders so he's thicker in his neck. Good, get him thicker in his neck, get him more active as you do it. That's it, keep him thick in his neck. Good, good, Feel, he's alive in the rain now, isn't he? Keep him alive in the rain on the corner, this is gonna be hard. Yep, keep him active, praise him a lot. Yes, do you feel the difference? Good, here comes the harder turn, good boy. Good boy. What did you start feeling? Ooh, it's hard work, I know. You make it look so easy. I felt he was moving up and into the the bridle and such. I felt he was on the contact and all that. It was just when we'd go on that curve to the the right, then he would just he would not keep the stepping up behind. No, because it's really hard for him. But that was good. He was staying alive on the reins. Let but him have a walk yeah, right. I thought he was staying just fine. You know, when I was saying stale, it probably was more like. Um, it at one point. The stale's a good word for it. That's when he's disconnected from your... It's almost status quo there. It's just... Yes, robot mode. Yeah. Yes. On remote control. On remote control, that's right. But now we're asking him to come alive with it more. That's the only change. You know, you can put his head in a place and he'll basically keep it there, but we want more now.